let your boys cook, it could save their lives. I, I grew up hearing of families that their male children are forbidden from being in the kitchen when their mothers or sisters are cooking. I suspect this is a result of certain uh, domestic chores being considered feminine. Boys must not cook. This narrative, of course, favors patriarchy. Often, it is hidden under the cloak of culture and tradition. But wait, this is 2021, the information-driven age. Men within certain socio-economic brackets are finding that the women within their romance circle have so much exposure that they will not be tied to the kitchen. These women crave relationships as partnerships with responsibilities shared, not by gender, but ability and equity. Suddenly, the boy who was trained to be a man lord is lost and cannot forge successful romantic relationship with the women who are his peers. The focus of this talk is really not about cooking. It is to alert parents that the values they equip their children with in their formative years are becoming even more important than ever. In this dynamic world, children must be brought up to be able to embrace change. It is no longer practical to bring up a young man without basic life skills that enable him to groom and take care of himself. This impacts his ability to take care of others. You might say all he has to be is financially successful. However, what is required from a man in the family is surprisingly becoming more than mere provision. Participation and action are what more women require within some socio-economic bracket. You wonder why. In the 70s and 80s, many people grew up in homes where the man was a major provider. The woman was expected to be a stay-at-home mother or do petty trading around the home. The more sophisticated ones would be teachers who could be home when the children come back from school. The children probably school where she works. This worked for that generation. The focus of the woman, woman was usually her children. And you had many women stay in abusive, loveless marriages with the excuse of staying for their children. The girls today are exposed to the world with its negativity and positivity. They can dare to dream and to achieve. And some are doing a great job of shattering glass ceilings. Men who have been brought up to be, to be the lord of the manor suddenly find that their prospective partners are at par or even a step ahead of them. The economic advantage of the male is being gradually decimated. And he has to come back to the drawing board. He has to participate in his, in his relationship with his woman. His father might never have been to his schools but he has to go to PTA meetings and open days. He is expected to change diapers, cook, and do laundry. He even has to bring her breakfast in bed when all he saw his mother do was to serve his father food on her knees. If the new generation guy raises his hand to eat his woman, the repercussion could be as severe as fatal injury. Times have changed. One of the greatest gifts we can give our children is to equip them for their time with our words and even better by our examples. Please, let me Times start with have that. changed. Mm. Let me start with that breakfast in bed. <laughs> 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 Go on. Okay. See, it's normal for you to bring your wife breakfast in bed because even to give her the ring, you knelt down. Mm. And that's the proof that times have changed. Um, cooking to, yes, if, Depending on the schedule of the man, you could do breakfast in bed. But however, on a more serious note, I think there is, um, you said something in your earlier piece that there's no one size fits all. I think it's how you marry, who you marry, who you are that determines all those things. But most importantly, in a marriage, the man should understand that the man was not created by God to provide money for the home. The man was created by God to provide leadership for the home and everything that comes with leadership. 
And when you're a leader, you participate in the actions and the activities that happen in the home. That's why the Bible, God tells us that the man, woman, submit to your husband. He never said uh, women submit to men. So you are a par, you are equal. But when it comes to the home, like the Bible says that he speaks to the man, which means that in normal business terms, the man is the CEO, the woman is the COO. Hmm. You see the CEO more in the office doing all the running around and blah, 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 blah. The CEO might even be at home or go for one or two meetings, but he is still the CEO, no matter what you do. So I think, first of all, that, needs, that ceiling needs to be, you know, capped there without breaking that. It shouldn't be a glass ceiling so that it won't be broken. Now, the role of a woman is one that we should not renegade to the kitchen alone. Although in mm -hmm. the home, I believe that there are two things that happen in the home. The woman is responsible for the kitchen, the man is responsible for the security. And I tell people that if you're in the home with your wife, your kids and everything, and you hear movement outside your house, it's not the woman that will go. The man must go protect the family. Preach. So the man cannot say, oh, I'm busy. I'm, I'm, I've come home, I'm tired. And I hear movement, okay, wife, you go and check it. No, he has to stand up no matter how tired he is. Even the wife will nudge him out, go, get up, get up, go and check. And he will go there to check. However, when business takes him away from home and there's a challenge, even when something happens, the wife will most likely call him. I can hear movement outside. Then he will arrange for neighbors or somebody to come check on the home. So I think the same thing happens to the wife. You are in charge of the kitchen, the tummy, the well-being of the house. No matter how busy you are, a call. You have just basically told a woman mm. what she should do. No. And that is not no, your no, place. No, no, it's not about me. Whether it's she's about a wife, the standard. Mm -mm. You have just put out your position mm -hmm. for yourself. <laughs> so that is your opinion. You can't come out and say a wife's it's role should role. be. No. Mm -hmm. In every situation, mm -hmm. I believe that the wife is the person. Wife, you are here. Mm -hmm. What is your role? What do you think you can do for us? She has to be able to determine what she can no, no, do no, and to the extent to which she can do no, it. I, I By just, the time okay, we wait, now wait. begin to say mm. she's supposed to be responsible for the kitchen, that is stereotyping no, the woman. It's not about stereotyping. It's not it about is. Stereotype. It no, is. Hold on. Listen, let, let's, let's do it, look at it this way. Everybody plays a role in the home. Playing that role in the home doesn't mean mm. you cannot do your job outside. And that's why I say whether you're home or not, yes. Even in the 90s, when all these things started changing, she, the, the wife, wife will call decides. to find out. If she, she wants she to, to be I know a couple keeper. So, that so is the husband she, yeah. that does the cooking. Yes. Right from day one. Okay, yeah. so that's what he's saying also. So when it comes to security, can we she take the role of protecting him? He'll be lying Why down. Why would she do that? Okay, exactly. so that is why he's No, because in their house, house, they have set up their own standard of arguments in their house. But if she's a stronger person, what if she's a stronger person? But but really, you know, you know, in writing this piece, you know, one of the things I was thinking of is this. How we, how you teach your your son to visualize a woman mm. is going to determine mm. to a large extent even mm. is even the way she's going to is going to interact, interact with you yes. or you yes. because yeah. you are women. Mm -hmm. Okay, True. so so it, it's I'm I'm talking about we're we're not talking about just mm -mm. when okay. the woman is your wife. Yeah, it's okay? general. Okay, okay. Uh, um, there is a mindset. I know you must have, must have had this thing, thing a few times. A man is arguing with you, and he tells you, okay, "Money so ruined yes. I have someone like you. Yes. I have someone like you at times. Which, which? And she's a married woman. And she, yeah. Even if she's not even married, she's you know, not, even, tell me, you, tell anybody. That. You, you know, <laughs> you know, um, that statement is is an insult on the person he has at home for her to be making a comparison with her with anybody at all. So, so he, this thing is a mindset Times thing. Times have changed. Right? And, and as long as um, we don't bring up men to respect women, it's going to be a bit even hard for the man to respect his spouse because generally he still uh, he has a condescending attitude to, towards women. Generally. And so I think this your article also brings up the the death in the bringing up of the male. So for True. for, for centuries, I guess, I'll put it like that. Let me exaggerate it. Women have been the focus of morals, values, yeah. um, entrepreneurship, how mm -hmm. she should behave, how she should, what she should do and become. And as you said, the man, the boy, child was left to be 
the lots of way the low, yeah, yes. low. And, and so anything. while you've raised a generation of strong powerful independent i mean hustling women who are, can do anything the man has the boy grows up and he's lost yeah. because as you said here is this woman all the way here he who should have even had at least some of this is way down here so there is going to be a whole there's going to be a disconnect for, for this generation because the men are emasculated as yes. it is um the women are out there driven literally do not need a man except for procreation mm -hmm. procreation as it is because he's going to come and be yeah, a liability for, for her so it's really not just mm. as you rightly said i which they can pay they for pay thank for you it. my brother Amen. so but then that's not how a society will progress yeah, exactly. because the, this generation is supposed to equip the next generation so that the circle of life continues yeah. so if we are coming from a, a situation where where all the women are empowered and the men are confused and don't know what to do and are waiting to be dictated to and all that. Then I'm sorry My for their own said. children. Well, for me, I, I, I want to see the cooking stove as a metaphor for, exactly. for good values of parenting. So to that extent, I'm going to flip it on both genders, both male, 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 child, male child and female, female child. Uh, over time, the quality of parenting has mm. degenerated. It is not how some of us were brought up that... Um, mm contemporary parents are breaking up their children. Yeah. Of course, because of the changing wave of times. Mm. But be that as it may, I always sue for a sort of a balancing act between the past, because I don't want us to throw away the past completely. Yeah, exactly. yes. Because the past yeah, has a lot, yes. you understand? We have to pick the good aspect of the past and also try to um, uh, accommodate the, the, yeah. the, the new ones. And so we can achieve a, a parity, sort of. So uh, uh, it comes down to the issue of parenting, how boys, should be brought up, and also how girls should be brought up. The boys should be brought up to respect the, 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 the girls. Mm -hmm. They should be brought up to be close to the kitchen. And the girls, too, should also be brought up along how, how they ought to be, mm -hmm. how they should relate with, with, their, with, their, with the male counterparts, yeah. so that when they grow, they take it into the family system so that they can be able to build a family mm -hmm. and That's also build true. up That's children true. who have similar yeah. values. I think, like you said, both of them just see themselves as people who are developing a next generation. Yes. And that is the most important thing because individually, each one can stand on its own, on his or her own. Yes. But when you come together, you're coming to forge. Because what about women who are not married and yes. men who are not married? Yes. They, they, they don't die suddenly. So, mm. But when you come together, it's for a purpose. And that purpose, that's why I keep saying, like, buy into what you said about uh, not one size fits all. Mm -hmm. Like you rightly said, that man says, I have a friend who is a cook. And when he cooks, the children enjoy his food more than the, the, wife. the wife. So they always ask that he cook for us. So he, at times he comes back home, he's tired, but he has Still to cook. Come and cook, the cook. You get it? There's peace at home. Yeah, but I think but you we see, have to de-emphasize cook. We have no, no, I'm just... So no, we're much just... Much just <laughs> we have to de-emphasize. De I cook I, fantastically. And for me, I see cooking as fun. I think so, so too. But many people, people can't eat my food. Break but, their heads over Oh, cooking. my God. <laughs> and it's I a wonder, fantastic <laughs> food. Cook, but no, people can't eat his food. I mean, by, I, <laughs> and I wonder why we put so much emphasis on cooking. Cooking... No matter what you want to cook, it can't take more than uh, an hour. Or try no to kill it three what. times a day. No, we make it five times a day when you have children under 10. Yes, I think also and for it's a because, as you said... <laughs> do it five times a day for five years. I think it's one of make the things that years. you're talking about from our past that mm. now has, has, now has so to be balanced. Let's, yes. Maybe what we should yes. do next. Mm is actually go to the kitchen and go and cook, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, Absolutely. Time is never our friend on this program. Well, time is never our friend on this program. However, the advocacy continues on our social media platform on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broad broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com uh, forward slash the advocate ng. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on this station, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye. Bye.